to God's Library, and of course we have Troy here today too. Welcome! Today is, let's think about it, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. Yay! And today is the day that we do our live preschool story time. Yay! No, it's my favorite day. Oh, sorry, Troy. Do you know that that's my favorite day of the week? Uh-huh. Wednesday because I get to do story time for y'all. I'm so excited. So happy spring. It's finally here, boys and girls. Can you believe it? I have been waiting so patiently for spring. Have you been? I bet, aren't you so excited it's here? Yes, and the temperatures are warmer. Let's talk about a few signs of spring. I'd like to know if you have seen anything outside that makes you can think of a few things. Well, first of all, flowers are starting to come up. Little flowers are starting to pop out of the ground. And the grass is greener. And I see some buds on the trees. I hear a lot of birds chirp, chirp, chirp. And they're very busy making their nests because they are laying their eggs, right? It's springtime. So, yay, we're back again. <laughs> Sorry, my Wi-Fi has been going in and out. So just hang on, it will reconnect, okay? So I'm really sorry about that. I think I need to upgrade my Wi-Fi. <laughs> so uh, boys and girls, again, thanks for joining. We were talking about signs of spring and uh, I think we did pretty good with uh, figuring out that there's a lot of activity going on outside with springtime. And do you like Troy's spring hat? Yes, he is sporting his spring hat. Yeah, he loves wearing this hat, can't you tell? Look at that. He loves spring, don't you Troy? Something else is very exciting to happen around my house. Guess who woke up? Troy, shall we tell them? Look at this. Storytime Teddy woke up from his hibernation. It's springtime. He woke up and man, was he hungry. <laughs> Weren't you, Teddy? So he wants to say, hey, happy spring, boys and girls. It's been a long time, a few months since you saw him, right? Mm -hmm. So again, welcome. We better get at it. We are going to do our little welcome song, okay? So we're going to start by clapping our hands. All right, are we ready? Here we go. Can you clap? Let's do it. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time we're going to have some fun. First of all, clap our hands like so. Then we're going to bend, we're going to touch our toes. Touch your toes, Troy. Welcome, welcome everyone. Now it's time we're going to have some fun. Yay! So we're going to read a book today, a little book about spring, and we are going to do a little craft about spring, and we're going to sing some spring songs today, all right? So the first song I'm going to sing is a lot of fun. It's a new song. I just learned it, so hopefully I remember it. But it's going to be fun, and we're going to do the actions together. It's called Spring is Here. And do you want to stay, Troy, for this song? I don't know. i got to do some actions. So I'll put him on my lap and see if he wants to stay. If he chooses to go, that's all right, too, okay? So it goes like this. Are you ready? So we got to pretend we're outside and we're looking for signs of spring, okay? Here we go. Spring is here. Spring is here. How do you think we know? I just saw a robin, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? I just saw a robin, that is how I know. Do the robin walk and stretch your thing. Do the robin walk and flap your wings. Do the robin walk, do anything. Now let's look around for another sign of spring. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think we know? I just saw a bumblebee, that is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here, how do you think I know? I just saw a bumblebee, that is how I know. Do the bumblebee walk and stretch your thing. Do the bumblebee walk and flap your wings. Do the bumblebee walk 
do any things. Now let's look around for another sign of spring. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? I just saw a, a ladybug, yay! That is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think I know? I just saw a ladybug, that is how I know. Do the ladybug walk and stretch your thing? Do the ladybug walk and flap your wings? Do the ladybug walk, do anything? Now let's look around for another sign of spring. We'll do one more. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? Just saw a, a butterfly. That is how I know. Spring is here, spring is here. How do you think we know? We just saw a butterfly. That is how we know. Do the butterfly walk and stretch your thing. Do the butterfly walk and flap your wings. Do the butterfly walk, do anything. Now let's look around for another sign of spring. Yay! You could go on all day with that song, couldn't you? Isn't that a great song? I love that song. And Troy stayed with us for that song with his hat on. Isn't that nice? Yes. So boys and girls, I wanted to talk to you obviously about spring today and about flowers growing and maybe something else happens in the spring. A lot of rain comes down and we need the rain in order to grow our spring flowers, right? It's very important. So we're going to do a little song about rain. So we're going to make some sounds like thunder. I hope this doesn't scare Troy. So we're going to pretend we're drumming on our knees, okay? Like this. He's going to be our drums, okay? Can you do that, boys and girls? We're going to pretend we're hearing thunder, all right? And then raindrops are going to come down, all right? Are we ready? Here we go. Make the, like thunder. I hear thunder. I hear thunder. How about you? How about you? Get your raindrops. Pitter-patter raindrops, pitter-patter raindrops. I'm soaked through, how about you? We'll do it one more time. I hear thunder, I hear thunder. How about you? How about you? Pitter-patter raindrops, pitter-patter raindrops. I can see flowers growing through, flowers are growing through the earth. Yay! Hooray! Alright boys and girls, we're going to get to our story now and um, Troy doesn't really want to leave me, but however, i got to read a story to you kids and Troy can't stay here while I'm reading the story because my storybook has to go here. So I'm really sorry Troy, but we got to say goodbye to you. He doesn't want to leave. He loves this hat so much. I know. You like this one. I think it's one of his favorites. So can you say goodbye to the boys and girls and say, we'll see you next week for Easter. Oh, I wonder what kind of hat you're going to have on next week, Troy. It's going to be a surprise. Okay, boys and girls. Troy, there goes his hat. Can you say goodbye? See you next week. There he goes. Okay. I am good. Oh, Mama Duck's really looking at this. You want this on, Mama Duck? Okay. She has something on, but I think she is it okay, Troy, if she wears your hat? Okay, it's good. Troy loves to share with Mama Duck. Okay, Mama Duck, you got the okay. <gasps> there you go. You have Troy's spring hat on. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, let's get to our story. Okay, we are going to read a great book today. It's called Shake a Leg, Egg. <laughs> and this book is written by Kim, uh, sorry, Kurt, I didn't put my glasses on. Where are my glasses? My story time glasses. Here they are. I better put them on so I can read the right words to the story here. Kurt Cyrus, okay? So if we're ready for this book, we're going to do our little song. If you're ready for story time, could you clap your hands? If you're ready for story time, clap your hands. Well, if you're ready for story time, hey, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, clap your hands. If you're ready for story time, could you rub your bellies? Rub those bellies. If you're ready for story time, we're gonna rub your bellies. Hey, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, could you 
you rub your bellies. Now if you're ready for story time, you're gonna sit real still and you're going to freeze. <gasps> like you're frozen. If you're ready for story time, we're gonna sit real still and we're going to <gasps> freeze. Like you're frozen. Well, if you're ready for story time, hey, if you're ready for story time, if you're ready for story time, we're going to sit real still and we're going to <gasps> freeze like you're frozen. Yay! Okay, let's get to the story. But before I forget, for next week's program, would you all like to wear a spring bonnet <gasps> while you're watching Miss Julianne? I'm going to wear a spring bonnet. This is just like a little um, headband I put together but I am gonna wear a fancy spring bonnet next week, okay? So, okay, I better get on with the story. I'm pretty excited about next week too, okay. Shake a leg, ache. Oh, look at here, boys and girls. Is this a sign of spring? Let's find out. Here we go. Shake a leg, ache. Count how many eggs are there with me. Could you do that, boys and girls, today? count. We have oh, one, two, three, four. We have five eggs. Five little ducks maybe? Hmm. Okay. So here we go. And we have, oh, there was just a minute now, there was five eggs. There's one there. And we have how many chicks? One, two, three, four. So something's happening with that egg. Do you want to find out with me? What's going on with that egg? Okay, let's let's check it out. Well, here we go. Oh, hello in there. Hey, are you aware? Oh, Mom was talking to the egg there. How long we've all been waiting? Right, there's four chicks, and looks like she's got one egg that hasn't done anything yet. Okay, she's having a little talk to that egg. All right. Oh, coots are circling, noisy crows are calling, and they are debating. Wow, can you see all those crows? There's a lot of them in that tree there. Let's count them. One, two, three, Four, and there's one way over here. Five, five crows in the tree. Okay. Oh, still talking. Well, well, what's the holdup? No one knows. We're waiting, waiting, waiting. <gasps> I wonder if it's gonna hatch. They're really being patient. Well, the buds are bursting open. The sprouts are breaking through. Eggs are hatching everywhere. <gasps> I think I see some pussy willows there too. Wow, I love pussy willows. Oh, you can do it. They're all giving the egg a little pep talk there. You can do it. You can do it. Okay. Wow. All around you, life is brimming, swimming, slapping, honking, flapping. Conversations fill the air. Don't you have a peep to share? Huh. Honk. Wow. Wings are whistling overhead. Up they rise, off they fly. Soon you two will cross the sky. For where does every flight begin? <gasps> a nest, an egg, a chick like you who picks and pecks and look at what's happening boys and girls. What's happening to the egg? Chick was taking eggs. Oh, sweet time. 
meet the pond, oh yes, and greet the sun. Hey, say hello to everyone. The whole wide world is waiting. Now look at that, boys and girls. Can you see what's going on there in the pond? Yeah. All the little chicks are learning how to swim. Look at that. It's coming alive because it's springtime. Yay. Well, that is great. See, some, some things like to take more time than others. So obviously, that little chick was just not ready to come out yet. And that's okay. Sometimes I don't feel like going out either. So it might take me a little bit while, a little while longer to think about and get ready to go out. So that chick had every right to take its time before it hatched. Okay, we're gonna do another spring song and then we're gonna get to our spring craft, okay? So this song, we are going to do some actions. We're gonna clap our hands, we're gonna stretch, and you're gonna jump up really high to the sky, and then you're gonna twirl around the room. Here we go, it goes like this. Let's all do a little clapping, a little clapping, a little clapping. Let's all do a little clapping to spread. Hey, spring cheer. Okay, now we're gonna stretch it out. Ready, let's stretch. Let's all, like we just hatched from an egg. Let's all do a little stretching, a little stretching, a little stretching. Hey, let's all do a little stretching to spread spring cheer. Now you're gonna do some action, boys and girls. You're gonna jump up and down. Are you ready? Get going. Let's all do a little jumping, a little jumping, a little jumping. Let's all do a little jumping to spread spring cheer. Okay, now. We're gonna twirl around a little bit, but don't get too busy, uh, too, too busy. <laughs> busy, dizzy, they sound the same, they rhyme. Don't get too dizzy. Are we ready? Here we go, I'm gonna twirl around my little teddy here. Let's all do a little twirling, a little twirling, a little twirling. Let's all do a little twirling to spread spring cheer. Yay! Oh, it's so nice to have Teddy back, isn't it? Yeah, he's so cuddly. I missed you. Okay, boys and girls, we're gonna do our craft, yay! So what do you need for your craft? Well, you need a, a white piece of paper, you need a yellow piece of paper, oh, just a little piece of paper, like a little bit of orange paper would be great. You need maybe your favorite color, a piece of paper. You need a black marker, or any color will do, a glue stick and some scissors too, okay? Oh, feathers, I think I forgot to put that on there. Oh, sorry. Well, we can just cut out wings, okay? Instead of putting feathers on. We're gonna make, just like we read, a chick is gonna hatch out of the egg. Yes, indeed. And we don't really need those feathers on there. This is a craft I did before and I had some feathers kicking around. So, are we ready to do our craft, boys and girls? Let's get to it. Okay. I am going to get my supplies. Now you can either do the craft with me or do the craft after story time, all right? So I said you need your favorite color of paper today. Mine is gonna be, what color is that? Matches my flowers in my little headband. Purple. I had a piece of purple kicking around. So you can use a full sheet of paper if you'd like. I am gonna just cut mine a little bit here because I don't need a full piece. There's my piece of paper. And what do we need? What's coming out of it? Is it this? It's gonna be a chick, right? So we're gonna draw kind of a, like an egg shape or um, just a circle of any sort or a, whatever you feel like doing your shape of your chick, okay? So my shape is gonna be like this, okay? Oh, can you hear Troy? So here we go. This is going to be my chick. Actually, I'm going to make my chick a little bit smaller because my piece of paper needs to fit the chick on there. Like that. Now we need 
the wings for our chick, right? If you have feathers, that's terrific. If you don't, we're just gonna cut out our own wings, okay? So I am going to cut some wings out of this piece of paper here, okay? You can do any shape you like. Sorry, I don't know what he's doing in the kitchen there. Um, anyways, we're gonna cut our wings out here. I have one wing like that. And I'm gonna do another wing. Again, you can do your wings any shape. So now I have two wings to go on my chick. But what else do I need? I need a little beak, okay? So I'm gonna use a little piece of this orange paper and I'm just gonna cut out a little piece, a triangle actually. Can you see that? It's a triangle shape, okay? For the nose, right? Cut a little, a half of an egg and we're gonna crack it. This is how we crack our egg, just like this. And it's gonna look like that, okay? So next we need our glue stick, okay? So I've got my glue stick. So the first thing we're gonna glue on is our baby chick onto the page, all right? Cause she's gonna go in there first. So, whoops. So I'll show you how this is gonna go here. There we go. There goes, there goes the egg, the chick. Stay the chick. <laughs> now this is gonna be the, yep, the egg that broke open because the chick is hatching in our craft today. It is coming alive because it's springtime. There we go. Now let's get these wings on that chick. I'm gonna put like, it's flapping its wings coming out of the, coming out of the egg, coming out of the, the uh, yeah, the eggshell there. It's like, hey, I'm here, let's get ready. Let's get learning to fly and things like that. Woohoo! look at that chick. <laughs> and we need to put the nose on, right? The nose, the beak on our chick, just like this. missing? Right, the eyes. I am going to get a marker right here and we're going to put two dots on because the eyes are just opening, right? So they're going to be kind of small when they first come out. So just two little dots, one there Oops, and one here. And there is your springtime chick hatching out of the egg. Okay, so boys and girls, you can, if you have feathers at home, if you'd like, you can add the feathers to your chips right here, to their wings, okay, if you'd like to. Yay, I hope you can do that craft today. It's a lot of fun to do and it's very easy to do too. Hooray! Okay, we are going to do, oh, we just have time for one more song. And um, the song that I'd like to do today is uh, let's do a song about, um, we're gonna touch some of our body parts again. We're gonna touch our nose, and then we're gonna touch our toes, and then we're gonna pat our heads, and then we're gonna rub our tummies, okay? So it goes like this. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? Touch your nose, touch your nose. Well, hello everybody, can you touch your nose? We're gonna touch your nose today. Well, hello everybody, gonna touch your toes. Touch your toes, touch your toes. Well, hello everybody, gonna touch your toes. We're gonna touch your toes today. Well, hello everybody, gonna pat your heads. Pat your heads, pat your heads. Well, hello everybody, gonna pat your heads. We're gonna pat your head today. Well, hello everybody, you're gonna rub your tummies. Rub your tummies, oh, let's rub your tummies. Well, hello everybody, gonna rub your tummies. We're gonna rub your tummies today. Hooray! What's that, Mama Duck? She's 
She says, hey, it's springtime. I want you to do the mother duck song. Are we ready? Okay, if you have ducks, that's great. If you don't, that's okay too. Here she is with Troy Spring. Hat on, headband. So we're gonna sing about, actually I need her to take that off. I'm worried it might fall off of her. Oh, she's got something on underneath there anyways. Look at that mother duck, eh? kind of falling off of her. Okay, well, we'll just leave that part on her. So boys and girls, we sing about, let's count with Miss Julianne. How many ducks do we sing about? One, two, three, four, five baby ducks. Are we ready? Let's do our song. Five little ducks fly up one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only how many boys and girls? One, two, three, four little ducks came back. Well, four little ducks swan up one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only how many? Great, three. Three little ducks came back. Well, three little ducks one up one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one, two little ducks came back. Well, two little ducks one up one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But only one little duck came back. Well, little duck went up one day over the hills and far away. Mother duck said, quack, 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 quack. But none of our ducks came back. Oh no, poor mother duck. Well, sad mother duck. One up one day over the hills and far away sat Mother Duck said. <laughs> and guess what, boys and girls? All of her. Yep. One, two, three, four, five little ducks came back. Yay! Hooray! They're all back safe and sound. Okay, and it's springtime. Woohoo! And I have a pond in the backyard. Okay, so boys and girls, we are going to do our Sleeping Bunny song. But before you leave today, I'd like to thank you for joining Miss Julianne for our online story time. As I said, say, Wednesday is now my favorite day of the week. It used to be Friday, but now it's Wednesdays because I get to see you guys. Well, I don't get to see you. I get to do story time for you. <laughs> So boys and girls, um, next week, hey, if you want to wear a spring bonnet, you can. I'm going to wear my spring bonnet next week, and I have several to choose from because I love making spring bonnets. Can't wait to see what Troy's is going to look like. <laughs> okay, boys and girls, we got to do our Sleeping Buddy song. I wish I could go on and on and on uh, to do more songs and read more books, but I only have a half hour with you. So um, let's find a cozy spot. Maybe a couch, maybe a chair, maybe the floor. You're going to be a sleeping bunny, and I'm going to get the lights. Okay? Use your imagination. Here I go. Click. Lights are out. Look at all the sleeping bunnies. They're lying oh, so still. Look at all the sleeping bunnies. They're lying oh, so still. Oh, so still, what are the bunnies ill? Lights go on, click, and wake up! Wake up, sleeping bunnies, you're hopping, hopping. Wake up, sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Wake up, sleeping bunnies, you're hopping, hopping. Wake up, sleeping bunnies, hop, hop, hop. Um, flag.
hour on today. Okay, well, boys and girls, we will see you next week. And isn't it lovely to have Storytime Teddy back from his hibernation? Yes. Okay, boys and girls, have a great day. Hope you can make the craft. If you do, send me pictures. I love seeing your craft. Bye-bye now.